The Orlando Stadium in Johannesburg may have been a place of quiet ahead of the CAF Champions League final second leg against Al Ahly of Egypt. But this match had the whole country talking. Edward Matali knows exactly what that is like. He was captain of the Orlando Pirates when they last won the tournament in 1995. And he was optimistic that the class of 2013 would triumph again. I've got a feeling they're going to do it. I mean, the score is still 1-1. No panic buttons. I mean, 95 when I was captain of the side, uh, we left here to all draw. No panic. We got there, we score while we came home smiling. You know, yeah, big one. I've got a feeling they, they can do it. That hope was shared by fans settling down for the game in Villacazi Street in Soweto. The country was united in support of the Bucks, regardless of normal club affiliations. And as the final against Al Akli progressed, so the Pirates fans' confidence began to grow as they created chance after chance. But nine minutes into the second half, Mohamed Abatrika dented that enthusiasm as he gave Al Akli the lead. But there was still hope. After all, a Pirates goal would send the tie to penalties. But it wasn't to be. Al Akli eventually winning the match 2 0 on the night, 3 1 on aggregate. Pirates had fallen just short at the final hurdle. We said because they lost, you know, and uh, we were really hoping that we'd bring the trophy home. You know, but hey, it's football, you know. Today you lose, tomorrow you win. Yeah, but it was a great game. I'm very disappointed, but no hard feelings. They try their level best. Viva Orlando Pirates, viva! Oh, well, as, I'm say, as I've said, that I'm very, very disappointed on the game. But nevertheless, we were in Africa, they we were in the home ground, so they took that advantage. So in the end, no second title and no second star for Pirates. But they can be rightly proud of the way they performed this campaign. They may not be champions of Africa, but they certainly flown the flag high for South African football. And that evidence, it won't be long before they're back challenging for Africa's top prize.